Okay, we're gonna be packing some school lunches and I do three of these every morning. I usually do it while the oatmeal's cooking. You pour some boiling water into a thermos just so that the inside of the thermos gets nice and hot. And I'm just basically looking to see what there is from last night's supper. So here's some nice pasta, which we made with, some, with a bit of a white sauce and some vegetables. And while that's heating up, we'll make the side dishes. Kids get hungry at school, and you can really take advantage of that hunger by putting good things in their lunch. They're hungry, they've been running around, they'll actually probably eat it where they might not at home. So I'm just gonna cut this carrot up into little sticks, like this. Whatever vegetables you have in the fridge, you can just kind of chop up. And then I'm using just a natural kind of ranch dip that they like. And believe me, they will get used to this kind of eating and they will eat this way for the rest of their lives. So I'm gonna go get the pasta out of the microwave. We're emptying out our thermos. See, it's steaming, so it means it's nice and hot inside. And then I'm basically just gonna put this in here. And then just so they don't have to think in that moment, I'm gonna strap on a recyclable fork and so they can bring it back and we can wash it. That is their main meal for lunch. And here are their vegetables. And the only other thing we need is some nice fresh fruit. If it's summertime, put some nectarines in or some peaches. In the winter, orange segments are great. Like putting in a whole orange is gonna be difficult for them to peel. But if you make it easy for them to eat, they're much more likely to eat it. And then you put these little packages of love in a nice container. Now what you can do in order to keep this dip cold, this is not a football, this is a cold frozen pool pack. You can put that on top and put the dressing right beside that and it'll keep it cold. And then you just zip this up and now you can go check on your oatmeal.